a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Good evening, folks. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Hello. Jade. I'm Kara. And I'm Erica. And this is Perfectly Marvelous, a podcast dedicated to the hit Hulu show, Only Murders in the Building, don't you know? Today, we are bringing you a special bonus episode, which will also be available as a video for our patrons. Yes. All right. (laughs) Yes. And if you would like to gain access to our bonus content, like seeing us with our backgrounds on Zoom, like listener feedback (laughs) video episodes, you could go to our Patreon, which is at patreon.com forward slash perfectly marvelous podcast. Yes. All right, guys. So before we get into it, spoiler warning, we are about to spoil obviously all of season one and two of Only Murders in the Building. So don't watch this unless you know, unless you're caught up with season three. Now, I haven't watched season two in a long time. I freshly just watched season one and I am just excited. I'm so excited to get into season two uh, because it's like sad how quickly I forget shows mm-hmm. after I watch. Do you guys, uh, is this just me? It's like I forget- amnesia. Mm-hmm. Immediately, right? I was yeah. shocked at how much of season one I didn't remember. So, okay, as a quick recap, where we are at the end of season two. So when last we met our heroes, right? Poppy, mm-hmm. Cinda Canning's assistant, was revealed to be Becky Butler. She like escaped from her life and faked her death. And then Poppy seduced Officer Kreps <laughs> to frame Cinda Canning for Bunny's murder because Bunny. she wants to get back at Cinda for like stealing all her good ideas and not giving her any credit. And so then, but then Mm -hmm. at the end, hey, Poppy and Kreps, they get caught, they get arrested. And Charles goes back to like starring in his Brazos reboot. And he Mm -hmm. asks out Joy, his adorable makeup artist, you know, and Mabel continues. I know, right? It was so cute. I love that. (laughs) And Mabel continues renovating Mm -hmm. her apartment with Alice, you know, even though they're not a couple anymore, or her her aunt's apartment, sorry. Um, Yeah, Alice is still helping her renovate, even though they're not a couple. And then Oliver comes clean to will about not being his bio dad and oliver gets to direct on broadway and so then they flash forward a year a happy a happily murder free year as mabel says and um mabel lucy and joy are all sitting together in the theater to watch the opening night of oliver's show starring charles and a guy named Ble- Blen. <laughs> ben <laughs> glen roy oh my god what is my mouth Blen. doing <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So, so they're starring in the show and Ben is angry at Charles, right? And he starts, but, and he starts coughing and he's like, Oliver, get out of my face. And Charles is the one you got to look out for. And the two guys are on stage arguing and Charles mysteriously says, I know what you did. And then Ben starts coughing and like dies again. Uh-huh. Um. So th- these are the final words of season two. This is kind of like the big cliffhanger, like where they leave us. So I'll play that for you guys right now. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Good luck is a curse in the theater. (laughs) Oliver does not age. (laughs) You you don't think I know that? That everyone. I just didn't mention it to be polite to you, you piece of shit. Hey, hey. (laughs) We got two and a half hours to get through. If I can do it, you can too. I'm the pro pro here. All right, you don't have to worry about me. Be smart. Stay away from her. Mm. Why? What are you going to do? Then, I know what you did. Mm. So ominous. So ominous. I just love hearing the orchestra warming up. (laughs) Yeah. I can't believe this. Right? What a year, huh? Yeah. Well, any year without murder is a good one in my book. <laughs> okay, fasten your seatbelts. <clears throat> hey, honey. So proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What turned me into a creature of the night? Let me tell you. Oh, 
Oh, Paul Rudd, there he goes. Acting his uh -oh. little booty off. A creep. Mm. Come on, man, you can do it. Let me just... That, that like, ooh. Somebody, anybody. <laughs> I was not expecting that. No. <laughs> that was like, wait, what, what? No. <laughs> Andrea Martin is my woman. I love her so I much. I know. I'm so glad she's in this show. I know. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh they missed it. the best part. Jamie French videos pop up. Watch Jamie French listeners <laughs> if you haven't ever before. Uh, anyway, so I love, can I just say how I love Paul Rudd for how he can, he made that so funny with that little, those little like oh. huh, 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 yeah. noises. <laughs> It was just the perfect amount of funny, you know? Perfect balance. I know. I wanted to hear Mabel say, like, are you fucking kidding me? I know, me too. I thought <laughs> like, that, that video was going to go all the way to the end. Like, yeah. Because that was pretty much my exact reaction uh -huh. at the end <laughs> the, at the end of that season. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. Truly, though. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I just love paul rudd anytime he's supposed to be a quote-unquote bad guy yeah. anytime he has attitude because that's so not him and yeah, it's yeah. so enjoyable to watch and steve martin like the good luck it's like that's a curse in the theater like he yeah was, he might as so well have walked dramatic. up to him and whispered like macbeth in his ear or something <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this is so good. Oh, that's a good one. That's such a good call, Carrie. You're so right. Just, yeah. It makes I I'm so excited to start talking about this show. Like I know all of them are just solid gold mm -hmm. in terms of their acting performances. And oh, it's gonna be good. Another show filled with like the cream of the crop of like mm -hmm. legends. And that kind of theatrical flair. Mm -hmm. So every one of them. Every one of them. One. All right, let's get into this trailer business and give it a watch. That face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, season three trailer. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Let it begin. Is this really happening again? Well, you know, who are we without a homicide? One of the best shows <laughs> on television is back. So are you in? Yeah. With a surprise you never saw coming. A blackout. <gasps> the queen. Oh my god, it's me. Oh, oh, that's my so normal reaction. Oh, I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> Isn't it? Only murder. Oh my god. <laughs> Shall we begin? Sight. So sick. Only on Hulu. <laughs> That okay, is a so tease, if anything, oh am I missing? Gosh. Am I missing a trailer though? Because that seems really, really, really short, and that's, that's the a teaser. Only... Yeah, that's, that's the only teaser? thing that's out so far. Yeah, that's the teaser from three months ago or so. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. Oh, so I don't so think that's, they've released. So that's truly. That's all we have right now. Boom. Yeah, that's truly all there Just is. Okay. Teaser. Yep. I was thinking that I was seriously missing something that you guys were going to pull it out and be like, no, the, watch this. There's nope. this thing too. Um, yeah, because it's like, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Like, we literally mm -hmm. are down to less than four weeks from, or no, a little over four weeks away from yep. the premiere of season three. And it this should is all be. We get. I think Maisel did the same thing though to us, didn't they? They like, like yeah. waited to like the last second to tell us they're coming back. <laughs> Give yeah, us so we'll give you guys full length trailer. That's true, Erica. They yep. did. Mazel did do that. Remember, every week we were like stressing like, out, like, why are they telling it? us? I know. When is it premiering? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Well, I do love how I know we'll get into reactions, but I love that just in that split second of Paul Rudd on screen, you can immediately tell what a douchebag his character is. <laughs> and I know it's going to be so much fun to watch him portray that. Like just the scarf and the jeans and his whole attitude. Yep. I know that scarf. Just like, oh, because so we're excited. gonna we're gonna be given the year before probably. We're gonna be all in flashbacks. We're gonna leading up. Paul, we're gonna get more Paul Rudd. Yeah. Right. And did we get did it seem like uh Meryl's character was the director? Is that no. what we're supposed to take? Or is she like a producer? She, Oliver's the director. Mm -hmm. Okay. She might oh, be a so Oliver's, because I assumed he would be 
for some reason in my head, I was like, oh, so he's producing, she's directing. Maybe that's not what it mm-hmm. is. I thought either the, way at the end of season two, I thought that it that they said he was directing. They probably did. I have not rewatched season two. In yeah, I haven't because I'm <laughs> focusing on season one right now to do our recap, yep. and then I kind of want to like I kind of want to let myself be surprised at things I forgot yes. in season two as we prep for for that recap. That will yeah. be fun, and I'm really excited for our season one recap. Oh. But okay, <laughs> so so far we know this season though we know a couple of things. Um, we have a. Uh, a couple of return characters. Andrea Martin obviously will be coming back as Joy, the makeup artist. Got to love it. I, more Andrea Martin in everything, please. Please. Yes. Oh my gosh. And uh, Ashley Park is coming on the show, which is Very nice. interesting. She's playing an actor, I believe. Um, there's no Nathan Lane, sadly. I know. Uh, but we do get someone that, um, well, everyone's going to know him from Grey's Anatomy. A little guy, Jesse Williams. And Kara, <laughs> my next question is, and are you in love with him? <laughs> Let me guess. Oh, yeah. Kara, you're in Obviously. Love <laughs> I, from the second I saw him on a preview for Grey's Anatomy, I was just like, who's this? And he seems <laughs> just, like an absolutely type. lovely person on top of it. So I am very excited. Even yeah, though he's... I'm pretty excited to look at him, he's also a fantastic actor. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay. So, what else, guys? Who killed Ben Glenroy? Who killed Paul? And who is her? Like, that's the thing. Who is her that Steve Martin's character is referring to? Because, oh, damn. I know it's going to take all season for things to unravel, but I am already all in. Mm -hmm. Me too. Which is saying something considering because you know they're, they're know. gonna take they're gonna take us like one complete way and it's gonna go back forward you know diagonal mm-hmm. and then eventually we'll get back to where it's supposed to be but it's mm-hmm. it's always a major journey obviously <laughs> like the fact that Meryl Streep is joining the cast when right. I first saw that I think I squealed out loud and scared my animals because it's just oh, I'm so excited one I love Meryl Streep in general but two the chemistry that she and Steve Martin in particular have together is fantastic I love when she gets comedy I love love. death death becomes her she devil like all those movies are just like when even like I'm a sucker for you know some of the Nancy Myers movies they're like good comfort films so Steve Martin and Meryl Streep and it's complicated Yes. Is one I want to watch my that again so bad. Favorites. Like they are brilliant together and they mm-hmm. play off each other brilliant. so well. And I just I cannot wait to see them on screen in a comedy setting again. Yeah. I yeah, hope yeah. they have plenty of interaction. And from a couple of like the be- behind the scenes things that Selena Gomez has shared on her social media, it really does look like they have spent quite a bit on set together. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping we see a lot of them. Do yeah, you, yeah, me too. Do you project oh. if she's going to be a big bad or like? No, I, think she, I don't. Yeah. Think I think so. she will be. I think she'll think be so. a secret big bad, I, or it'll be a red herring. I it think might she's be a red herring. Yeah, it's like what they did the first the first season with um, yeah, yeah, and even with um, because oh her great. her being like the actual big bad would be a twist or I don't know because it reminds me of what lies beneath with Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford (laughs) where the last thing I expected watching that movie was for Harrison Ford oh spoiler alert I guess for (laughs) what lies beneath spoilers for a fucking like 20 year old movie it's some people get mad you like you know what happens but I was not expecting Harrison Ford to be the bad guy so if they were able to pull off that kind of a surprise with her even as we're well, talking they pu- about they it right pulled now. it off in the last two seasons of this show yeah. i mean oh yeah i mean you could it just oh what were you what were you gonna say erica though you were thinking you were saying oh, yeah. like, that's it reminded they did, you of uh, they did the red like, herring thing for season um, one like who, like even who are you with, referring to i can't even i look i have to do every watch but um the the, uh, the murderer um steve martin's uh girlfriend oh amy ryan thank you oh, the, yeah the, the, the cello player like you know i know like 
you know, they kind of like pushed us through it and then they started going towards funny and going towards Jan. this and that. Yeah. Jan, thank you. Yeah. But I'm like, they're they're really good at twisting and turning and getting you mm-hmm. like to think it's this person and that person. And, you know, mm-hmm. and Tina Fey's character looked like it was like- Sting, <laughs> very briefly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that if it were to be Meryl Streep, it would be too- obvious Mm -hmm. and then they want you to think it's too obvious so then they Mm -hmm. want you to actually suspect her so then she's gonna be my prediction in the 11th hour the big red herring because everyone's gonna be like no it's got to be her i could see that that's what i think is gonna happen but i don't think it's gonna be her i just have a feeling Mm -hmm. they're gonna go a different direction oh i can't wait i know i just i want to know all the things and I, I want them to that, release a full trailer so we can dissect Yeah, I want that. Before. I want that bad. So. I think that, do you guys have predictions about who the her is that Steve Martin is yelling at about? I, I have, well, mm-hmm. yeah, what do you guys think? Well, I mean, if it, mm-hmm. yeah, go ahead, Erica. No, I mean, I'm thinking about Paul Rudd and he's younger-ish. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think he would have had any connection to Selena's character. Or even his Absolutely. daughter. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I've, not... I've heard people, a lot of people think that it that it means Paul Rudd and, and oh, sorry, his name is Ben. Ben yeah. and Mabel are <laughs> Mabel, like having a, yeah. an, an affair, not an affair, but like they're having a thing. I don't think yeah. that that's the direction they're going in. I would be very no. surprised. If, I, if I feel like we've producers... had a lot of, of Mabel's like relationships have been kind of yeah. Like, yeah. in and out would... the last two seasons. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would love to see Mabel not attached to someone romantically for a season and have that not be her like story. I want to see maybe yeah. something like that for Oliver. I wouldn't mind yeah. Oliver getting a little something something. Or like mm-hmm. Steve Martin's ex. What were they married or just together? No, they were just. I don't think they, they were, were just married. together. His ex girlfriends. Maybe Paul Rudd has been dating her or something. Like mm-hmm. that was one of the things that popped into my head. Mm. But I don't know. I just feel it like has it's to be not somebody be special obvious. to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would and be surprised if they made if they made them Paul Rudd and and Selena Gomez an item because I think that they worked so hard on being so progressive that if they were to go yeah. like an older, a much older man, uh-huh. <laughs> that because I know people say Paul Rudd hasn't aged, but I see that he is aged much older has. than he's Selena aged, Gomez. He is. <laughs> yes, he is. he's I, aged well. I mean, he takes yeah. care of himself. He keeps it mm-hmm. tight. I gotta say. Mm-hmm but he's aged come on everyone's yeah. like he's so he doesn't yeah. age he's eternally youthful i'm like it's not that yeah. come on guys look a little closer <laughs> um but paul paul Rudd, you're looking great mm-hmm. good for you and who knows like who knows maybe the her he's referring to could be something they all suspect to be happening and that is completely off base as to what is actually going on mm-hmm. because they are really they have really bad instincts sometimes, especially at oh, first. Yeah. Very. So who knows? I guess we'll see. Yeah. I but think I, that I the- have seen a lot of people speculating about Paul Rudd's character, Ben and Mabel, but I just, I don't know. I don't see it at all happening. Mm. Um, yeah. I think that the her is going to be someone completely unrelated to the plot that has, that has come into the fold somehow within the year. Cause we did jump a year ahead, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah whack the mic uh yeah so okay so what do we think Meryl Streep's role is we I she's an actor it's pretty yeah she's an actor in Oliver's play um anything more than that to predict I don't know maybe I wonder if she's has she moved into the building like is she playing Meryl Streep like that's another thing that I would be curious if he somehow landed Meryl Streep to because be real play. real people come into this this universe Ar- yeah and the Arconia like I could buy Meryl Streep living in the Arconia mm-hmm. like I don't know so, I think that would be an interesting way to which apartments it. are available right now Sting's oh, apartment yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right Sting is this, now, he's in the penthouse Jan. right that was a penthouse one mm-hmm. yeah oh Jan <laughs> oh Jan I really hope I, we get more Jan love jan so much and i still totally i ship jan and charles yeah i still ship them they should just be together i love (laughs) Jan. i just want amy ryan in everything all the time yeah i want her and amy ryan i love all the time yes yeah Uh, i was like yelling at him when he was still answering her phone calls 
mm-hmm. from prison. I was like, man, this is not good for you. No, Don't do it. No, no, and it's so relatable. I'm like, damn, Charles, that was <laughs> that was you. Hashtag you I am Charles. In. Yeah, mm-hmm. you picking up those phone calls, and you like, I mm-hmm. shouldn't be doing this with this fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, we all do things, you know. Oh, <laughs> people, people sometimes got us, got us where it hurts. Okay. And uh, what about the fact that this murder does not happen in the building, y'all? This is an outside the building murder. Where, it, what is happening? Mm, How do we feel? It I don't makes know what me this wonder means. if there's another murder in the building. Mm. Wait, is he confirmed? Is this, is this a confirmed kill at the end of season two? I didn't even really realize, I mean, even though we literally just watched the trailer. Like, they he are, did, right? Every article I have seen, every interview I've heard has approached it as if he is definitely dead. Mm-hmm. So maybe he they're going to have to change the name to their podcast. Like only murders, murders involving the, the people that live in the building that <laughs> yeah. involve the people in the building. <laughs> Getting the bike now too. <laughs> Look at us all over the place. All right, and you know, we still haven't heard who poisoned Winnie, and this bothers me because. I know. It really felt like it was going to pay off in season two. Do we think that the fact that we don't know who poisoned Winnie and just like, I don't even think it was talked about all of season two. I haven't watched season two in a while, so I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure we don't know who, who the fuck killed Winnie. I mean, who, (laughs) Winnie is still alive. Um, Who poisoned Winnie? That should be a question that we'll table and pin so we can look and keep our our eyes out for some clues. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I don't know if it's going to come back in season three. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be bummed if it. I'll be bummed if it didn't. If it My doesn't. brain. Which who is Winnie? Is Winnie the dog? Winnie's Oliver's dog. Yeah. Didn't Martin I Short's thought we dog. saw that? Just kind of like with Evelyn, that the dog ended up like. I can't remember. Or was that Evelyn? Like, I'm pretty sure that there's one. no. Again, I haven't watched season two in a while, but I'm pretty sure there's no definitive answer for okay who poisoned Winnie. I'm going to put that on my that to-do right. list to keep an eye out for. Yeah. See now I know what I'm doing the rest of today. I'm going to get some bourbon and I'm going to rewatch probably all of season two. Um. Yes. Okay. Thank you, my lovely listeners, for joining us. We love you. And come back next week, hopefully next week, for our season one recap of Only Murders in the Building, which will also be available on our Patreon as a video. Ooh, how can you resist it Yay. so yes <laughs> get your omit b rewatch on and send us your thoughts don't forget mm-hmm. don't forget and on that note i'm kara i'm erica and i'm jade thank you and good night thank you and good night thank you and good night <laughs>